national security matter, but at and this point, we just need to learn more. I want to get to that news conference. Let's listen. It's a white male, age 58, an avionics technician who works at the airport and who lives here in Wichita. The defendant was arrested this morning at approximately 5.40 a.m. At, at the airport. Mr. Lowen faces three charges. One count of attempting to use a weapon of mass destruction, one count of attempting to damage property with explosives, and one count of attempting to provide material support to a foreign terrorist organization. If he's convicted of these charges, he faces a maximum penalty of life in federal prison. The criminal complaint which was filed today in U.S. Federal District Court alleges that Mr. Lowen spent months developing a plan to use his access card to the airport to drive a car loaded with explosives to the terminal. It's alleged that he planned to pull the trigger on the explosives himself and die in the explosion as a martyr. Agents arrested him at about 5.40 a.m. as he attempted to use his access card to enter the tarmac and to deliver the vehicle loaded with what he believed to be high explosives. In fact, those explosives were inert and they were, it was not a bomb that would ever explode. Members of the FBI's Joint Terrorism Task Force took him into custody without incident. Now, I, I want to ex uh, express in the strongest terms possible that at no time was the airport perimeter uh, breached and that at no time was any citizen or member of the travel, traveling public in any type of danger. No one was placed in any jeopardy. I also want to, have, uh, also want to add this. Um, we have no indication that the defendant was involved or working with any members of any religious community in Wichita. And his actions in no way reflect anyone else in, in our community. Let me tell you a little something about the investigation itself. Mr. Lewin had been under investigation by the Wichita Joint Terrorism Task Force since early summer of 2013. He made statements that he was resolved to commit an act of violent jihad against the United States. Over a period of months, he took several actions to advance his plot. According to the affidavit filed with the complaint, it alleges that Mr. Lowen studied the layout of the airport and took photographs of various access points. He researched flight schedules to determine when there would be a maximum number of individuals at the airport. He, has, he assisted in acquiring components which he believed were part of the building of the bomb. He talked about his commitment to this crime and his commitment to martyr himself as part of this horrific event. This morning, as I said, when he went to the Mid-Continent Airport to detonate the bomb, he was taken into custody when he attempted to open the security gate with his pass. He was taken into custody when that security pass failed to operate the gate. As I said, he was taken in without incident. No one was harmed, uh, fortunately. The FBI evidence response teams are processing multiple locations right now for evidence. And although the investigation is ongoing, we do not anticipate any additional arrest at this time. Uh, I was talking with the governor earlier, and in this day and age of cynicism about government and cynicism about law enforcement, uh, I want to tell the members of our community and the folks in our state that this is a shining example of how good law enforcement, uh, how well they 